Officials of Barangay Santo Domingo in Quezon City have started using CCTV cameras to monitor compliance to COVID-19 protocols. These kids, for instance, were seen outside their homes without face masks or shields and not observing physical distancing. In another angle, more were seen playing on the streets despite the stay-at-home order among minors for two weeks. Paulit-ulit po kami nagpapaalala mga magulang. Huwag niyo pong pabayaan o hayaan ang inyong pong mga anak ay nasa labas ng bahay. Because of poor compliance, barangay officials decided to roam around the area to apprehend violators. Parents and their children immediately ran inside their houses, but some were nabbed and brought to the barangay hall. Hindi kasi pwede yung ganyan ngayon. Guardians will be slapped with fines from 300 pesos up to 1,000 pesos, depending on how many times they violated the rule. Hindi naman kami nagkulang na wag silang lumabas. Makulit talaga, hindi sumusunod. Another parent is dismayed not because her child was caught, but because they canceled their Holy Week trip to Batangas. Sa bahay na lang po, uh, dasal-dasal na lang. Uh, video call na lang po sa mga kamag-anak namin sa ano, probinsya. But the MMTA clarified that those aged 15 and above may travel as long as they're with their families in a private vehicle. Yung po 15, 16, and 17, Pinapayagan po iyon, no? Dahil uh, mas iba paano, kamukha na sinabi ko po, safety naman siguro ng magulang, tsaka point to point naman na mangyayari. IETF co-chair Carlo Nograles said it's best for tourists planning to go to the provinces to coordinate their trips with LGUs. Hmm. Ang una niya munang tanongin is kung yung LGU destination ba ay tumatanggap rin ng minor. Nograles called on the tourism department to issue new guidelines, especially on travel bubbles where tourists are allowed. For News 5, JC Cosico, We Are One News.